Hello and welcome to my tech farm. My name is Igor and uh, I have a little bit uh, different product review on this channel now. It is a 3D pen. <laughs> when I uh, first time asked to do a review of this product, I was hesitating a little bit because I wasn't sure what can I use for I'm not an artist. Then I did some research on the uh, internet and I saw that people are using uh, 3D pens in uh, 3D printing hobby to add some lines to figures uh, or to repair the objects, maybe glue. And this is something I can test actually. And uh, when I do all those experiments, and then I will give it to uh, my daughters because two of them are some kind of artists. I'm not sure if they can do something with CD pen, but uh, we will see. Uh, this is the CD pen from uh, GTEC, and uh, this is the version TG21. On the box, not much uh, information. Uh, maybe one useful information is it can be used with PCL, PLA, and ABS. Uh, I wasn't even sure what is the PCL, but it is a material which can be melted on very low temperature. And a box I can see between 60 and 100 degrees Celsius is the melting working temperature. And the power supply is a DC power, uh, 5 volts, 2 amperes. So this means a little bit stronger phone charger can power uh, up this pen. Okay, but now let's see what's in the box. There is a manual in English, the other side on Chinese. Hmm, there is the pen. I am left handed. It's quite comfortable. Hmm, must be the holder. Power adapter. The output is 5 volts, 2 amperes. Mm, not sure, maybe this is some kind of cap. <laughs> Actually, these are finger protection sleeves. The cable. And some sample material. Uh, all three are PLA. And the box is empty. <laughs> and I noticed there is another cap stuck in this uh, end of this box. Let's take a closer look of the pen. So here goes the power and the filament input. Uh, there is an LCD screen and uh, buttons to select the temperature of the filament type. Uh, here we have buttons to change the speed, increase and decrease. On the other side we have the buttons to load or unload filaments. And at the end we have this ceramic uh, tip. Here goes the extruded filament. I always like to test the product with the provided filament. Uh, currently I don't have a power uh, connector uh, near me, so I'll try to power it uh, over this uh, power bank, because uh, 5 volts, uh, 2 amperes uh, should be enough from, from this uh, output. I plug it in, it says uh, PLA, I can see some preset values, PCL and ABS, but I will left it on the PLA and now I press the load button. And now I can see this LED in red light. This means it's heating up. I can see here the temperature. So now it is 40. And in approximately one minute, I can see this is now a green light and it is heated up to press a temperature. And I can even change now the temperature if I want to. And now let's try this filament. According to manual, uh, this has to be under 90 degree angle, not uh, under 45 or sharp like with the printers. There is the hole for the filament. And now we press the load button. And it starts with extruding. I can press again the load button. 
and it does some retraction, so pulls back the filament. And a very useful tool is uh, some metallic pliers, like so you can remove the filament from the nozzle. Here I can change the speed, but I'm not sure what are these values. So it says P, now it is on 0, 06, 0, 05. So this is something what uh, you have to experiment with. And now in next few minutes, I will try to use it uh, for decoration. So I have this calibration cube. And I will press the load filament. And I press again the load filament. It retracts. So pulls back the filament and... Uh, I don't have the azo, the flowing from the end of the nozzle. Now this calibration cube has these holes in Z, Y and X. Let's try to fill those holes. Okay, not perfect, but for first test it's acceptable. Still with decoration, I have this bunny which was printed on Ender 7 as a sample STL file. And let's do some decoration on it. Let's try to fill his eyes. It's quite big hole. And last decoration experiment, let's put some waves on this vase. <laughs> okay, I need some practicing. <laughs> now let's try those uh, bridging art. I try to make some pyramid from this uh, calibration cube. Not so easy as I thought. Okay, now let's get serious. I have these uh, test specimens uh, I usually use for layer occasion. Printed vertically, uh, they can break at approximately between 30 and 50 kilograms, uh, sometimes even more if I crank up the temperature. Uh, now I will raise the temperature here a little bit more to 190 degrees Celsius. And I will try several methods to uh, connect these two parts and uh, to measure how strong they will be. In first method, I will just try to create this kind of lines outside. It will not be too aesthetic, but uh, I just want to measure it. Of course, uh, this technique depends a lot from the temperature, how fast I'm moving, so about or from the lot of things. But um, I don't know, let's try uh, to measure this. I will create one more for better statistic. Here they are, and with the second method I will try to place some uh, material here and to push the other half to it, and I hope it will be uh, warm enough to uh, stick together these two parts. But I have to be fast with this. So I have two specimens with this second method, but I think I, this will be much weaker, but we will see. And in the last test, uh, I know from the mechanical uh, welding that if I create some uh, chamfer, uh, that welding will be much stronger. So let's try 
to do that with these test specimens. So they will be welded around this uh, chamfered edge. Hmm, not too nice, but we will see what we get. And now let's start with the testing and I'm starting with that uh, line type um, glue version. This test specimen or layer adhesion test broke on 55 kilograms. What do you think? Uh, on which load will this one broke fixed with a 3D pen? Let's find out. I'm surprised too, but let's repeat it. The next one is the pushed in version. And what do you think? Where will this one fail? But even this one was stronger than I expected. And one more time, the pushed in version. And now test objects glued on the chamfer edges. Not bad, but let's measure it one more time. interesting better than I expected this means we can glue parts with 3d pen ugly solution but it works and these objects are created by my teenage daughter after only half hours of practice and now the conclusions uh, f first of all to clear that uh, this is my first 3d pen so I cannot really compare with other pens uh, but uh, let's try to answer my, uh, the questions so can we use it for the decoration? Well, definitely yes, and it's very easy. Without any practicing, we can add interesting lines or fill the holes. Uh, very useful if we can create uh, in the design a hole and those holes can be easily filled with the CD pen. Can we uh, glue CD printed parts with the pen? Well, uh, yes, and I'm surprised how strong are uh, those parts, uh, the connection, but it's ugly, so probably it's uh, better would be the using a glue but actually maybe if some broken parts have some infill and used only inside in that case uh, it's not visible but it's quite strong and this give me a day and maybe i could test different glues but only globally available maybe you can give me some suggestions uh, what type of glue i, I could test uh, for the gluing uh, can we use it for 3D art? Well, definitely this uh, requires a lot of practice. Uh, for me it was very hard to create those bridgings because it's very hard to get the cor correct uh, speed and temperature and uh, it's hard possible. Uh, I saw on vid uh, in another video that somebody creates uh, figures from the aluminum foil and that uh, it puts uh, around it the uh, filament with CD pen. Mm, maybe so definitely this uh, requires a lot of practice is it fun oh definitely yes even i have a lot of fun but uh, my daughters already use it and uh, they created some interesting things and uh, uh, one thing i didn't like about it and when it reached the final temperature and it doesn't extrude yet i can hear some high frequency peak sound uh, I'm not sure, is it something like that uh, MOSFET is turning on and off, uh, the element, heating element? I'm not sure, it is not so uh, noticeable, but yes, I can hear that high frequency sound, maybe after several, I don't know, hours of using, maybe can be annoying. If you have some additional suggestions, where can I use CD pen in CD printing hobby, then drop me a line in a comment. Thank you for watching and happy 3D drawing. Bye.